Hi guys, Crafting Redstone here, and today we're going to have a look at programming a basic computer. So let's get started. Right, to start, I've basically built a bunch of ore gates. If any of the redstone torches are on, it will activate these lights at the end. These are all different lines of what we can program. And what I mean by that, let's say we picked line 3, and on line 3 we had a predefined function for it. So let's say we wanted to add line 4 to, I mean, if this is would be within the redstone memory, we would add line, I know, 4 to line 5. And we want to save it to line 6, and we want to do the ALU function for what would be adding them together, and we want to use ALU number 3, or something like that. What we can do, we can put redstone torches in the relevant places to correspond to these different numbers in binary. This would then, all the redstone torches would then turn on, activating these OR gates and sending the information off to the correct places. So what we've got down here, we have got the two numbers where we can load, so line, the number we're going to load first, such as line 4. So we'd put 4 in here, although it's only a two digit <laughs> binary number, but you'd have these a lot larger. You'd also put 5 in this one for loading line number 2 in, in that example. But obviously, again, we don't have enough room to make five because only two digits are in a number. But we can make them larger. Load from, load from line, I mean, save to line six from the output of the ALU. Again, but we've not got enough room for that because it's only two digit by a number. But we can make that bigger later on. The ALU function, we said this would be four because in the ALU I showed, I think four, or um, it possibly could have been zero. Four or zero was the addition on the ALU. And which ALU, if we have multiple ALU, so we can then select which ALU we're going to do this on. So let's have a look at this. On this example I've set out, I've got a bunch of numbers, what I've already inputted as a bit of an example. So as you move across, it's a bit like a table, and we'll program each one showing you how to do it. So low, from load number 1, we have line 0. From load number 2, we have line 1. Save number, um, well, save from the output of the ALU, we have line number two, ALU function three. Well, I can't. I think that would, I can't quite remember what it is. I think it might have been the and option of the ALU. And which ALU to choose from? We want to choose from the first ALU, but this would be zero in binary. So if we activate this, we'll get the outputs in binary. So you can see zero zero load from line number zero for the first number. Load from line number one for the sec second number. Save to line number two for the output of the um, output of the ALU. This would be the third fun well fourth function on the ALU because although it's third in binary we're including zero on this. So zero, one, two, three, what would be four different options. Anyway, so we've got three um well four the fourth option for the ALU and using ALU number zero, 1 or 0 because it's on number 2 but as I said 0, 1, 2, 3 we've got 4 different options there so if we want to pro program the next one what we'll do we'll grab this redstone, these redstone torches I'll not grab them but get one of them and if you didn't know how to do that in your controls I think it's middle click and it'll just um, whatever block you're looking at it'll just get so uh, as you can see I was looking at li lime stain clay there if I looked at blue yeah you get the you get the idea and you can change that if you want to and what i decided to do here is load number one we want to load it from line three so three in binary is one one so we would put a one on this screen here and a one on this screen here one one the next one we want to do is two so on line number two we want to make a two so one zero is two in binary so that's that our next one we want to put in a 1 so so that would be the save so we want to put in a 1 on the save option what is 0 1 for binary obviously as I said these binary numbers can get I don't think actually no I didn't say these binary numbers can get much larger as these are always two digits binary numbers and they can be as large as you want so as many digits you want um, where did we go to ALU function 0 so we're going to leave that on blank and which ALU? Zero, so we're going to leave that one blank as well. And if we have a look now, we'll get these outputs. So load from line three or four, because it's including zero, as I said. Loading from my, th um, sorry, four, loading from line four, loading from line three, saving to line two, which ALU number one, 
I mean, fun what function on the LU number one and which ALU number one. So we can do these for all of them. So again, so one. Oh, so we'd have one here. What's the next one? We'd have three, two, one. So we can put those in. Oh, did I get that wrong? Right, one, three, two, one. Yeah. So one, three, two. One and what's the last one? Zero, I'm guessing. No, three. So we'll put that in. And if you haven't seen my quick, very quick tutorial on binary, it's I think it's in Redstone tutorial number one. There is much better explanations on binary out there, but that's my sort of explanation. Um, anyway, moving on. So we've got one, three, two, one. So one, three, two. One and was it zero in the end? I think it probably was. No, one minute. Did I do it? One, two, oh no, two, three. What was it next? Um, t three, two, one. So two would be that, and one would be that. And how you select between these lines is by having a binary decoder. So we would get a bi would have a binary number come in from whatever function we want to do, and it would select one of these lines. And whatever line it selects, that's what function we're going to be doing in a computer. So that's why we use this. And this is an analog. Well, I keep, I keep saying decimal, but I think the correct word is a, um, analog. And that is as in our counting system, well, the most common counting system, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But this is back, we would have a binary input, what is just ones and zeros. Anyway, moving on, and we've got 3, 2, 1, 3. So 3, 2, 1, 3. I can't remember what the last number was. Let's have a look. So 3, 2, 1, 3, 2. Okay then, so we'll put that last one in. And these are just binary numbers as I said before. So let's say we had the binary number 11 to select the line number, because we, again we're counting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 11 it would be 3 usually, but because we're doing 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it would be number 4 here. So that would activate this one here. Let me just put that redstone torch away. And that will tell us that we want to load from line 1 what is correct we want to say i mean load second number from line two which is correct um we want to save the output from the aou to line three and we want to um, use aou function number three because although it says two it is number three because zero one two three as i said before and finally in um, which aou number two because 0, 1, 2, 3, although that says 1. So that's all correct. And that is a very, very, very quick tutorial on how to program a very, very, very basic computer while well, this isn't actually a computer, it does nothing. But we'll be using this later on, so I thought I'd do a very, very quick tutorial. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And I'll see you next time from Crafting Redstone.